Dr. Dollywell, welcome. And Thank you, Lonnie. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, um, we, uh, we, we appreciate the chance for people to get to know you a little bit better than just what they can read on the bio on the, on the website. So, so um, I, I want to, you know, and, and I've known you for a long time now. Um, you know, I've been, you know, here for 10 years and you've been here a lot longer. How, when did you start in the department? I came back in 1995. So, so you, you, you're, been... you're one of our senior faculty in terms of years <laughs> of service. And that's, that's all I'll say. I um, am indeed. So going way back to, you know, you know, where, when you uh, went through all your training and, and education, at what point did you decide that that you just you wanted to get into medicine and, and science and what really inspired you to do that? I have to say I owe my uncle who's an ophthalmologist credit for motivating me and my sister to go into ophthalmology. On one of our visits to India, he actually told us of a story of how after performing a corneal transplant on a woman, she was then able to see her children and her husband for the first time. So she was, wow. she was married, partially sighted, and he told this really impactful story and it just stuck with me. So then we both were inspired to go into ophthalmology and I followed in his footsteps and became a corneal specialist as well. Oh, wow. I, and I'm sure every time that you do that, you still get that same you know, exciting feeling every time you help a patient see again after they've had those, those problems? No doubt. It is, yeah. it, it is a thrill and it's what keeps us going, keeps on, you know, learning new techniques and learning new research methods and employing new therapies to help people see again. And it is really, I feel like it's a blessing to be able to, to help in any way we can. You know, it's always impressive um, talking to you and learning about all the things you're involved with because you're just like many of our faculty. You're somebody that uh, isn't accepting, you know, uh, you know, the the standard practice as the as the norm. We want to try to, you know, advance care and and look for better ways to treat our patients and push the envelope. And you're always doing that. Um, you're involved in a lot of research and other things now, and 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 you've been doing that your, your whole career. Talk to us a little bit about some of the projects that you're doing that you're really excited about. Absolutely. So one very exciting task force that I'm involved with is the Corneal Stem Cell Task Force. And I have to credit Dr. Sahel who came and had the vision to put clinicians and researchers together on a task force to really further the, the science. And so this has been an incredible, an incredible journey thus far. We're really excited about furthering the stem cells that Yi Shin Du and Jim Funderburg found in the stroma, in the cornea stroma, so that we can then kind of regenerate the cornea. So I, I think that the power, harnessing the power of the human body to heal itself is something that I'm really passionate about. And that can be in terms of the cornea with the corneal stromal stem cells. We're also doing some research on the endothelium. So the corneal endothelium kind of regenerating that. We're doing some surgeries and some other techniques. We're involved with some other research projects to see if the cornea can just heal itself. In addition, I'm really passionate about holistic eye care. And I really think that involving integrative techniques such as acupuncture, uh, and possibly other types of antioxidants and allowing the body then again to really heal itself um, is, is ex incredibly exciting. And so we've start, we started the Center for Integrative Eye Care. And the Center's mission is to scientifically evaluate these types of integrative techniques. So whether it be acupuncture um, or, you know, we're, we're thinking about study, starting a, a project on meditation and the effect in glaucoma patients, because there was a, an article about that Very in cool. one of our journals. So, Very you know, there's, cool. so many, there's so many different types of um, kind of pathways to get to healing. 
And, and our center's mission is to really evaluate these techniques and to either prove or disprove the validity to see if they work. So um, I'm, I'm really passionate. I became a licensed acupuncturist in 2006 to try to really understand kind of the Eastern side of medicine in addition to the Western side that I had already been trained in. Well, you know, I, I, I knew that you were a licensed acupuncturist and I, I'm glad you, you said that because I think that's something people would really appreciate getting to know about you. And, and it's, and it is very cool. I mean, the, the, um, and, and it's amazing how much the body actually can do to heal itself. Um, and, you know, we see it all the time, but of course, being able to help it along in any of these ways. And I think, as I understand it, that's what some of these holistic approaches can do. So that's, that's really, really cool and very, very exciting. So if you were to say in terms of your accomplishments, which there are many, and, uh, and many, you know, many things you've done in your career professionally that are very exciting, what would you say you're most proud of? Wow, that's a hard question, Lonnie. <laughs> you know, it's, I think there's, I would say, first of all, no one works in a vacuum. It's all part of the team. And it's because I operate in and work in such an enriching environment at the University of Pittsburgh in the Department of Ophthalmology that we're able to provide these, you know, exciting kind of advances. And I have, to, I have to take that question in three parts. So I'm super excited about education. And you know, when I, when I meet previous residents or fellows and they come up to me and say, Deep, I still hear your, your voice in my head every time I'm doing you know, part of the cataract surgery. I have to say that's such a big joy that, you know, that, um, that there's this kind of you know, lineage. I love this quote, a teacher affects eternity where they oh. never know where their influence stops. So I, I just, oh. I love that kind of concept of, you know, furthering teaching and, and having them, then the people we teach, then they teach, you know, uh, others and so on and so on. So that's, that's really just a joy to be able to teach um, pearls and, you know, what we know. And I, and I love teaching and I love lecturing to, to our uh, community in the department, but also to, uh, you know, other ophthalmologists and colleagues uh, all over the world. Um, the other aspect that really I'm super excited about is, is introducing new techniques to the department mm -hmm. and to our patients. Mm -hmm. So we were the first center to do endothelial keratoplasty in West, Western Pennsylvania. We did the first one at Shadyside Hospital. Huh. And so it was exciting and scary to start this brand new technique that nobody was doing um, back in 2006. And so, you know, I think that that's just another thing that because we have this great infrastructure, we're able to, to learn and to, you know, I went and visited some colleagues in different parts of the world, actually, to kind of learn the nuances. And then we were able to bring that back here to Pittsburgh. Hmm. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't, it, th that was a, a, a great answer as far as the, you know, your, your appreciation for training the surgeons of tomorrow, because I, I know that, um, and, and I love your quote, <laughs> I'll have to get it from you, write it down and memorize, but it, it also is something that I know that, um, that the, the, the graduates who come from here all appreciate their time that they spent with you and, and, uh, and I know you had some wonderful mentors along the way as well that you've appreciated. So I, I, I know that about you. So when you, you came to Pittsburgh uh, first in doing your residency here, right? And then, uh, and then you said came back in 1995. So, so something about Pittsburgh has been very important to you or has attracted you to this location and, um, and tell us about that. Tell us about the things that, that you've, that have kept you, you know, um, here in Pittsburgh, you know, uh, you know, that, that have, that have uh, made it a place that you wanted to have your career and, and home. Absolutely. So I was born and raised in the Chicago area and I went to medical school there at Northwestern University undergrad and medical school. And I did my internship at the same hospital I was born in. 
So <laughs> I was very local. I hadn't left at all. And then <laughs> uh, when deciding about residency programs, I remember interviewing in Pittsburgh and I just fell in love with the place. The department had this, I don't know, it was just this incredible kind of um, tone and, and I just really just fell in love with Pittsburgh. So I trained here and then I went away to Utah to do my fellowship in Utah and Scottsdale, Arizona. And then uh, I got a call from uh, one of the cornea specialists and they said, Dee, would you like to come back? And so then I had to do some thinking because I really hadn't thought about coming back. Um, but it was wonderful. We, there was a lot of uh, people that phoned me as I was making my decision whether to come back or not. And, and they said, you know, just, just come back and try it out. I thought, okay, why not, right? And so after coming back, I realized how much I had missed Pittsburgh, really. And it's just a wonderful city. The people are amazing. But really, the again, the support and the kind of the, the whole system that we have in place with the Department of Ophthalmology, the Academic Enterprise, UPMC, um, and the Ioneer Foundation. I mean, bringing all of it together to really uh, kind of just enhance eye care. And, and it's, it's really been a wonderful place to, to live and to work. And again, my first job, my only job, this is all I know. And I'm just thrilled that, you know, I decided to come back and, and it's been a really fun ride. Well, you know, I, a lot of bias as far as my appreciation for Pittsburgh as well, but, but uh, no, it's great to hear that. And, um, and I know that you're someone who, who really gets involved in the community. So um, now what, with all the things we have going on in the department now, and there's a lot of changes, a lot of, of um, you know, a lot of plans for the future. Tell us a little bit about your thoughts related to that. And maybe, you know, what gets you excited regarding uh, the future for, for us here? Sure. So really the new building, okay. The, the vision rehabilitation Institute is, is my dream come true. So I trained in Utah and they have several of these uh, Moran eye centers and it was just an amazing place where researchers and clinicians are together solving, you know, solving uh, questions that exist in terms of, of um, eye care. And so it, it was a very, very enriching environment to have everybody together. And, and in the Eye and Ear Institute, in all fairness, we, you know, we have the researchers upstairs, but there's, we're just cramped for space. We are, you know, some people are now spread out to BST and there's different locations. Um, and the ability to bring everybody back together is really exciting to have our own operating rooms where we can, you know, really kind of push the envelope to have, uh, our own, um, you know, center where we will be and all together and having a collaborative staircase. So we have a, you know, research idea we can go and discuss with our colleagues and, and having uh, better labs for our residents and fellows so we can educate uh, more effectively. I think that, that tr this truly is my dream come true. And I, I really think that we're going to be a showcase, um, not only in Western Pennsylvania, but in, in the country and in the world. I mean, I think that um, we will be solving these incredibly challenging questions and and uh i, I think that uh, the future is incredibly bright and i'm super excited about about the future and i have to say lonnie you deserve a ton of credit for just kind of getting everyone together and getting the support the Ioneer foundation is a critically important uh entity and I, I really think it's one of the best kept secrets that we have in Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little biased. I'm on the board. I'm mm -hmm. really blessed and fortunate to serve on the board and honored, honestly. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really an, incredibly, an, an incredible entity which supports the departments of ophthalmology and otolaryngology. And through the Ioneer Foundation, we have um, the ability to just to 
to get excitement, to, to educate community, to really just kind of get this cohesion among all these different different parties. So Lonnie, you deserve a ton of credit. And oh. <laughs> I really want to, you know, give a shout out to you because even doing this interview, right, this is a wonderful way to connect to the community and really bring everybody together and and kind of share our story because without everybody together we'll we'll we will not be able to be as effective oh thank you that that that, you know you know that's touching but you know honestly it's 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 um also for me a very exciting place to be and we're excited about everything that we're doing at the foundation um, you know, Dr. Dolly, well, this has been such a pleasure. You're, you're someone that um, is always, um, you know, for our patients that, that, uh, that, that give to the foundation, they, they always um, are, are so excited about uh, the care that you provide to them. And they're very, 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 very appreciative. You're one of our top docs. You're somebody that is always, you know, a wonderful spokesperson for the department. So, Thank you for coming on today. It's a pleasure as I knew it would be. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, more opportunities in the future and, uh, and certainly looking forward to all the things we have ahead, ahead here. Thank you again. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.